Hey everybody, today we are demonstrating our QC25 Ultimate Snap and Crimp Toolkit. This is a briefcase style kit. It's got a handle in the middle and two clasps on the side. It opens up to display the first layer of dies with the crimping tool handle. We'll go ahead and give a quick demo on how the dies install. Alright, go ahead and load the top one or bottom one in and they snap right in as so. Just like that, very easy. They pop out just as easily. Um, and once they are inserted into the tool, they crimp very nicely without any wiggling or any um, movement at all. All right, we also provide the wire cutter and stripper. Uh, these are 22 to 12 and 22 to 10, respectively. Um, so those are uh, nice. More information is located in the description. Let's get right into these dies. So the QCD1A is the first one. It's a wire ferrule crimping die, 22 to 10 gauge. Travis, a little impression. The second one you have there is a QCD2B wire ferrule crimping die, 10 to 6 gauge, also trapezoidal impression. All right, and the third and final wire ferrule die is our QCD2B1, which is a 4 to 2 gauge trapezoidal impression. All right, moving right along, we have our insulated terminal die, QCD3C1 is a stock number, that's 26 to 16 gauge. All right, we have another insulated terminal die available here. It's our QCD3C, and that one does 22 to 10 gauge. And then the next one would be our flag terminal. Um, actually, I take that back. It's our quick disconnect die, QCD3C3, does 22 to 10 gauge. And then that flag terminal one I accidentally mentioned, that one is our um, QCD3C4 insulated flag terminal die, 22 to 14 gauge. Finally, you have this big guy here. That one is our QCD3C2 for insulated butt connectors and heat shrink terminals, 22 to 8 gauge. All right, so that's all for this side. We'll go ahead and flip it, and we're going to get right in under the lid here. Um, you'll see that we have the remainder. It's quite a few of them, so here you go. Let's get right into those. All right, so we have the QCD3C5 die. It's closed-in connector and heat shrink terminals for 22 to 10 gauge. Next, you have the uh, QCD4D uninsulated terminal die, 22 to 8 gauge. Um, and then you have the QCD5E1 open barrel terminal die, 26 to 18 gauge. Then you have the QCD6F1. This is for spark plug connectors, 17 gauge. Then you have the QCD5E, that is an open barrel terminal die, it does 22 to 10 gauge. Next up is the QCD6F, that's also an open barrel terminal die, it does 22, 14, and 8 to 6 gauge terminals. Next to that you have the QCD7G1, it's a 4 p 4 c connector die for 4P4C uh, and RJ22 plugs. And then you have a QCD9J2, which is an MC4 solar connector die, 14 to 10 gauge. Next to that, we have the QCD7G3. It's an 8P8C connector die for 8P8C and RJ45 plugs. Next to that, we have the QCD8H coaxial cable die. And this has a variety of different... Um, sizes uh, that this will crimp. For more information, check the label. Then you have the QCD8H3, which is our RG type coaxial cable die. Again, a variety of different sizes for fiber optic connectors. Um, then we have the QCD9J3 for uh, Tyco style solar connector dies, 15 to 10 gauge on that one. Um, then we have the QCD9J1, that's an MC3 solar connector die for 14 to 10 gauge. Um, and then you have the QCD8H6, which is our RG type coaxial cable die. Again, various sizes on this one. Check the label and the information below for more information on that. And then finally, you have the QCD8H5, which is an RG type coaxial cable die. Again, various sizes, coaxial cable and fiber optics. And that's everything. Close the lid and we'll give this thing a nice close. And it's ready to just be carried away to your next job site. All right, that's quite a lot to list off. For more information, check the links, and uh, be sure to check out our website, um, ferrulesdirect.com. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram. Drop us an email if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye-bye.